St. Pius X Catholic Church in Billings, many hands made light work as Central High students lent a hand to unload Christmas trees for the Knights of Columbus. For more than 40 years, two Knights of Columbus councils in Billings have set up locations to buy a Christmas tree. Long history in Billings. Originally the school used to do it as a fundraiser and then they uh, it was too much work for them, so the Knights took it over, and trees come from Sandpoint, Idaho, so they've had a drought over there as well as we have, so it's been a little tougher. Um, those trees don't grow as fast when it's, uh, when it's dry. Even through the drought, the Billings Knights managed to get a hold of around 700 Christmas trees. An army of Central High students were there to help unload them from the truck, knocking out some community service hours they need for religion class. You smell like a Christmas tree afterwards, so that's always nice. Yeah, it can be tough work, but as long as you don't pick one of the 12-footers, then it's pretty easy to carry like a four or five footer. Central High sophomore Hallie Anderson has been helping out at the Christmas tree fundraiser for as long as she can remember. It's always been so much fun. I always love coming with my dad every year, every single time he decides to help volunteer here and just help out and see all the families looking for their perfect Christmas tree and helping them find that perfect Christmas tree. Foreign exchange student Filippo Caprasso from Italy was at St. Pius helping out. He said he hopes to show his classmates his Italian Christmas tradition before the holiday wraps up. Hopefully I will understand better the American tradition for Christmas and I'm hoping to, when I go back to Italy, to share with my, with my friends and my family so that we can like have a sharing of culture. The Christmas tree fundraiser will go to help the Knights of Columbus pay for its yearly philanthropy work with local nonprofit organizations. The trees will be for sale at St. Pius X and St. Bernard's in the Heights until they're gone. In Billings, Mitch Laggy, MTN News.